Throughout the history here in the mountains of Appalachia, folks work so hard, and back-breaking work too, day in and day out. Now the men folk were sharecroppers, old coal miners, loggers, and a lot of other occupations. But a lot of folks don't ever stop to think about just how hard the poor women folk had it too. Back in the old days in the hills, the gals, they'd start a courting or sparking a sweetheart. They'd go to preaching with them, go to socials together, and it wouldn't be long till a feller would ask her daddy for her hand in marriage. Then they'd be wed. Well, they'd usually get married and have the wedding there at the church or have a preacher come by the house and marry them and stuff like that. Well, then they'd be off to their home. And after their traditional chivalry gift to them by their kinfolk, and friends, and just folks of the neighborhood and community, they start having young'uns. And most folks back then had a ton of young'uns. Everybody almost had big families back then. Now the women folk would start their day, bless their hearts, them ladies would get up each and every single morning before the chickens would. <laughs> they would, they'd be up before daylight, start a fire in an old wood cook stove. So that way they'd start a little bite of breakfast. You know, cooking them old homemade biscuits from everything and all of it, everything they made was from scratch. And they did that each and every single morning. And then they'd get everybody fed. And then they'd set in to washing up their breakfast dishes. Then sometimes they'd go to rounding up dirty laundry and stuff to take down to the creek for a good washing. Or sometimes they'd have to wash them in an old roller washer. And then some of them would use a big old tub big old wash tub and use the old rub board. All this was done while running youngins. Sometimes they'd have a big old fire built under a great big old pot and they'd boil a lot of it, like bed linen, things like that. And sometimes they'd use something back then called bluing for the whites. Now they still sell bluing today but it ain't just nothing like it used to be. Well, after that, they'd head back home. Sometimes they'd get to doing some sewing, crocheting, knitting, stitching up a, you know, piece of clothing or something other on whatever needed it. And again, all that was done while running youngins. And bless their hearts, They'd sew and knit and stuff, everything to their poor old fingers, down to the bone, calloused up and stuff. And most of the time, they had a young one on their hip everywhere they went, even into town, preaching. And usually it was the eldest young's job to help their mama with their siblings. But them ladies, they still had their hands full. When he got up in the day, they'd start on supper. Again, build them a fire, start each and every single thing they made from scratch. Or sometimes they'd have them a fire already going throughout the day, cause they'd have an old pot of beans on there to be a slow cooking for supper. And again, doing all that while running youngins and a baby on their hip, that's clean the house and everything. Well, they'd feed everybody for supper, do up their dishes, 
Sometimes a gal, once they got up to a certain age, she'd help her mama around the house and help with the chores. But by and by, she'd get to sit down for a few minutes late and the evenings out on the porch or something or other, or a little bit before bed. But when you got young'uns, everybody knows that job ain't never done. Bless their hearts. Them ladies, they go to bed after a long, exhausting day and get ready to start the same process all over again first thing the next morning. And the things that I've even talked about on here was just a few of the things that just went on in these ladies' you know, everyday life. They had so, so much to do. They weren't never a dull moment. Our elder ladies, they went through so, so much. They didn't have medicines, doctors, phones to talk to a friend every day like we do today. When it comes to sadness or when depression hit them, and they didn't have nothing. All they had was their self. But they had to push through it, and they did. So when you see our elder ladies, any of them, or any of the elders in general, show them respect for what they went through on a daily basis. Because they paved the way for us with traditions, the old ways, and how we live nowadays. Things we take for granted. And you know, something else too. Nowadays, you can often see our elder ladies, sometimes out on the old porch, out for a walk, sometimes sitting in a recliner watching TV, but they ain't paying no attention to it. You'll catch them just looking off in the distance, reminiscing about the old days. Thinking about how times have changed, how lucky we have it today. Sometimes they'll think about losing kinfolk, think about good times they had, hard times and other things, and you'll see their poor old eyes start to water. And that breaks my heart so, so much. I wish so, so bad I could go back and change it and make it so much better for all of them. I truly do. Well, what I always say on the heartwarming stories and stuff, it definitely fits the bill with these ladies. Our elders, you can't always see the wings on an angel.